everybody i hope you're doing well i'm a little bit tired not gonna lie i fell asleep after like 1 30 last night and woke up at uh six so like five hours sleep but that's okay because i'm really excited for today and as you can hear so is rosie we're we're heading on a little family trip to hokkaido um, so since the last time when we went skiing in Karuizawa, my boyfriend's been wanting to go to Hokkaido because it's famous for the powdery snow and just amazing skiing and ski resorts. So I looked around and I found a hotel that allows pets. We actually got a little cottage again because that's the only place that allows pets. And um, I found a couple flights that allow dogs, ANA and J. So I prepared that. It's all good. So Rosie's coming and we're just heading out the door to go to the airport right now. We're just on the way to the airport now and I'm playing this game that I want to share with you guys that I've been addicted to lately, especially when I'm in the car or traveling to somewhere. And that game is called Best Beats. And actually they teamed up with me today to bring you this vlog. It is a free puzzle adventure game where you build a team of fiends to defeat slugs and you do this by matching same colored objects. I'm currently on level 32, so try it out, try and beat me, and let me know which level you get to. This month, you can play the Easter Egg Challenge where you can win amazing and rare rewards. And if you beat all 16 challenges, you'll win the all new bunny character. You can download the game for free, and if you download using my link below, you'll get $4.99 of gold and diamonds for free. <laughs> We just got through check-in. It was super easy. You just have to fill out a form for your dog and you have to make sure that you pre-apply when you book your flight. There's like a little section online that you can click and apply for a dog. So if you've applied, they already know she's coming and it's just an easy and quick check-in. So we've checked in, Rosie's checked in. We're going through and boarding our flight. Oh, and if you're flying domestically, then the dog needs to check in 30 minutes before your flight. We chose Ritsutsu Resort because one, they allow dogs and we got this private little dog cottage here. <laughs> they've got skiing, they've got rock climbing, they've got a wave pool, horseback riding, rafting, snowmobiling, a ton of restaurants, onsen, spa, gym, tennis courts. They've got everything you could possibly ever want. I'm I'm in paradise here. I'm so excited to just get started and do so many activities. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, just settle in, grab some lunch, and then we're gonna start to try and ski. Um, Elbow Sun wasn't that good last time, so he's hoping to just be able to start and stop <laughs> um, this time, and then we'll see if we can get skiing. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. This is the first time Rosie's been in snow. She's only seen a tiny bit in Tokyo, but it didn't build up. <laughs> What is that? What is that, baby? What is that? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, and by the way, Rosie did really well on the flight and they actually hand carried her straight to us even before the luggage arrived. So everything went really smoothly and fastly. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. You did good. Okay. I'm sorry, but we're in Hokkaido. Sit <laughs> down. Okay, let's go. She had a few complaints, but other than that, everything was good. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, 
How is it? So good. Nice. We need to be ready. We're just grabbing some lunch now before we go out and start doing things. Um, to be honest, there isn't that much healthy choices. So there's just like some curries and pastas and french fries which is what I'm eating. Hmm, you're pretty good though. This place is huge, it has everything here. <laughs> it literally has everything, this is my dream place. <laughs> for three hours. I couldn't really film myself because I'm not very good yet. It was just my second time skiing and I could go down the slopes. I went like really fast though because I went really straight on when you're supposed to go sideways and I'm not that good at turning yet. So I had a few falls and got a lot of snow inside my pants and yeah so I'm wet, I'm cold but it was so much fun and we just got back to the the um cottage and we're gonna fly the drone because the sun's going down right now so we're gonna rush outside and try and get some good shots for you. find a good Japanese restaurant and order two nice dinner sets and take some rest. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Um, yeah, we we came for dinner to a, this place has like ten or fifteen restaurants. I think there is so many to choose from. So we chose uh, a local Japanese restaurant which has like local Hokkaido delicacies delicacies and we went with the set menu which has a little bit of vegetables a little bit of crab and yeah I, I'll show you guys but this is the view it's like we're inside a snowbank <laughs> with little teepees or something outside oh, it just flashes we're done dinner and we're in a shop now because we want to go swimming but we didn't bring bathing suits so I'm gonna check out their swim reflection. Oh yeah. I think I like this somewhere. No way. <laughs> what? Are you sure? <laughs> so <thick. laughs> Okay, you choose one for me. Didn't have some simple? No. Oh, yeah. oh, this one comes with a matching scrunchie. Oh, yes. This one? <laughs> you like this one? That's simple. That's 60. Bathing beauty. All right, we're going with this. I hope this one's locked in the change room. <laughs> Push harder. Push harder. <laughs> Can you pull it? Oh, it seems that you pull it. You're supposed to pull it. No, I don't know. What? That is so weird. Yeah. Mission get Abosan out of the change room. What? You got it? This thing releases you. That's the weirdest change room ever. We just finished swimming. Oh lord, look at me. <laughs> um, we did this stupid 
mistake we didn't bring towels although we yeah we didn't know we had to bring towels and we just got straight in the pool without even thinking about grabbing a towel and when we got out we just figured they'd be in the change room I guess but they weren't so we had to put on our clothes soaking wet I also forgot a bra so I'm braless right now we're gonna play ping pong now I'm just gonna keep this big jacket on and hopefully no one looks at me